quite an impression for an outlander. Some like the Mali ring. Are you Chaplain Jera? Catalo said I should talk to you to see if you need help. Bold move, Wallbreaker, burying Takote's pride beneath the bulwark's rubble. I, I was just at ease. Many in the clan agree with you, and Marshal Cotello was right to send you to me. There is something you can help with. A few of our soldiers followed him to the embassy at Baron Light against Takote's orders. Right. I remember Catalo showed up last, with only a few representatives from the Sky Clan. When those soldiers returned home, Takote reassigned them to an old watchtower, one we had abandoned to the machines. He insisted that with war brewing, it must be reclaimed, but those soldiers are serving no one out there. If, however, they were to return by request of Hakaro's champion, Takote wouldn't have the backing to deny them. Especially when their chaplain supports their return. Tell a few soldiers to come home and give Dakota another black eye? Sounds easy enough. Go to the cold rushes, a long stretch to the west. The watchtower stands beside the falls. Speak to Kiva there, the squad's leader. Good luck. My brother will make it. What's going on here? The wall breaker. Jekka's brother here went off to get himself killed. He'll finish the climb. I know it. <laughs> Not likely. My brother Pento left to climb the March of the Ten to get his soldier's mark. They were supposed to be done by now, but he's not back yet. Jekka, Lataka, to your training, now! Your brother should have stuck to his cleaning duties. Would you mind checking up on the march? If I leave, my squad leader will kick my ass. And I don't want anyone thinking I'm worried about my brother making the climb. Because I'm not. I get it. You can't miss the path markers. They're by the waterfall west of here. If I head that way, I'll see what's going on. Thank you. No slacking, soldier! I'm coming, I'm coming. Pento. You better stay safe. Wish I didn't have to drill with all this armor on. Less complaining and more climbing, Cheka. Yes, sir. what you're arguing about? Oh, Sariva won't let it rest. She insists our comrade Farika flew on the wings of the Ten. But I say, hanging on to a Stormbird for dear life isn't the same. A Tanakh throwed a Stormbird? She went up in the air. But road is a strong word. Ha! Huh, you admit it. You're talking about her like she's no longer around. She's not. After she grabbed onto the machine, it flew off with her to that mountaintop. The Stormbird still circles the peak, but we never saw Farika again. That's sad. What a way to go. I'll say. A shame no one can reach that mountaintop. She was a great soldier with armor to match, and it serves no one lying up there. I'm a pretty good climber. No doubt, but unless you want to try what Farika did, there's no realistic way to get up there. For now. Put her feet off the ground. I could jump off a cliff. My feet wouldn't be on the ground, but it still wouldn't be flying. <laughs> I rush of air. <laughs> is this a training pit? It is. Sounds like you've been to one of the other clan's capitals. 
I'm Arayo. My brother Varak and I run this training pit. We watched you bring down the bulwark. Made our day to see our arrogant commander so furious. Anyway, if you've been to another clan's training pit, then you must know the drill. Same rules apply here. You can train or take on a challenge. Only your spear and a practice bow are allowed in the pit. Complete all of our challenges, and you can spar with us. And when I beat you, I'll earn a mark? If. <laughs> and yes, a token of victory to present to the Enduring. Who is this Enduring, exactly? All I've heard is that they're the best trainer amongst the Tanakh. Earn three marks. <laughs> then you'll see. Another time, maybe. Let me know when you're ready to finish more of your training. Useful for making dyes.
Chance to rest. Check my gear. This must be the village Zoka was talking about. Looks like the whole place flooded. Maybe from a recent storm. I wonder if anyone made it out. Let's check around the shore. There are a few survivors on that overlook. We should see if they're okay. He will be. <sighs> there. But what about the others? Let me worry about that. Rest now. I'm Natika. You're a long way from the east, Outlander. You're Natika. So this must be Bleeding Mark. What's left of it? How do you know this place? The Inker's apprentice and Scalding Spear told me to find you. He was worried something happened to your supply caravan. Well, as you can see, we have more important problems than delivering ash blood. What happened here? The last storm caused a deluge that brought down half of the mountain. The mudslide barreled right through the village. As you heard, we have many missing, but I need to keep watch on these two. I can take a look around. If I find anyone, I'll send them your way. Much appreciated. And if you see an older soldier, grim-faced, goes by Kentok, Tell him... Tell him I'm here. Might be able to use my focus to find any survivors. Looks like it's about to fall. If I give it a little push, it could make a bridge to the broken building. That works. Now I just need to climb inside to get to the top. Should be able to cross over to the survivors from there.
There's the ladder on the other building. I can make that jump. What? what? No! That was our only way out! Everyone okay? You're not one of us. Sorry. Yes. We took shelter in here when a mudslide swept through the village, but debris blocked the passage we came in through. That ladder was our only way out, but we couldn't reach it from here. Don't worry. I'll find us another way out of here. Do you know what happened to the others? Before we ran in here, I thought I saw a few of our comrades climbing up a watchtower on the north side, near the grotto. I'll look into it. As soon as you're out, head for the shore. Natika's waiting on an overlook there. So she survived. Good. We'll join her as soon as we have a way out. Okay. Sit tight, for now. Spellcaster won't work on that. Should you do it? Okay. You should have a way out. Thanks. We'll head to the shore in a moment. <laughs> it didn't look like Kentok was with this group. Okay. Better find this watchtower on the north end. Being strong against Frost Hill. Huh?
Be safe it's not now. We're coming down. Ah, you showed those machines.
Is everyone okay? Better now, without snap maws prowling around. You sure know how to fight. We saw some of our comrades stuck on the eastern cliffs. They could use a hand too, if you're willing. Okay, I'll check it out. Have you seen Kentok? Natika asked me to keep an eye out for him. Last I saw him was before the mudslide hit. Okay. Head for the shore, on the other side of the village. Natika's there with the other survivors. Will do. Thanks again. Ready for anything now? Wounded up here. Need an easy way down. Uh, and uh, hold on. I'll figure something out. I need to find a way for the Tanox to get down from the cliff. That big cone can help. If I can. Focus can help me, sir. Okay, crane's in place. Now, how to lower it to reach the cliff. I should take a look at the bottom of the crane's arm. out that beam it should remove the counterweight and lower the arm don't think i can pull the beam from here i have to get up higher Climb up and take a look. If I to touch those cables, the arms should drop the rest of the way. I can't shoot the cables from here. I need to get closer. Trying to pull that. That thing's about 
to drop! Watch out! We're clear! Blood of the Ten! How'd you manage to do that? I don't know how you did it, but thanks for the rescue. Is everyone okay? His legs snapped against some debris as we were making a run for it, but he'll live. How'd you get stuck up here? A mudslide tore through the village in the last storm. This ledge was just above the flood when we got to it. But by the time everything calmed down, the water had receded, leaving us stranded. And we couldn't leave a fellow soldier behind. Can you make it to the shore from here? Natika's there, tending to the wounded. Natika. Thank the ten. We'll head for her location. She'll know what we should do next. Thanks again, Outlander. Okay. I think that's it for survivors. I didn't see Ken talk among them. I should have seen. We would rest now. Aloy, thanks to you, these soldiers are safe. But where's Kentok? I didn't see anyone who matched his description. Do you know where he was when the storm hit? I was the last one to see him, just before. I told him I wanted to leave this place to pledge my blade to the Chief's Guard, but he refused to discharge me from the squad. All Tanakh are stubborn fighters, but Kentok? is more so than most. So I walked out. I was coming back from the opposite ridge when I saw the mudslide. You were coming back to make amends. I must find him. If anyone can survive such a storm, it's him. You said Kentok is your squad leader? I've trained under him ever since I was assigned to his squad. He's tough as a shell snapper. Unforgiving as the desert. But my blade is quicker, deadlier because of him. And he taught me to fight for duty, not just glory. To serve something greater than yourself. Yes. And yet he wants me to be tethered to this place. Rather than fulfilling a greater purpose with the Chief's Guard. You said you wanted to pledge your blade to the Chief's Guard. Is that what the Marshals are? No. The Marshals travel the breadth of the clan lands. Enacting Chief Hikaru's will. The guard remains at the grove to defend it and the chief. But like the marshals, only a handful are chosen for such an honor. So why did Kentok not want you to go? He claimed that the greater honor was to serve my squad and clan. But all we do here is gather supplies for ink. How can that compare to guarding the grove? The chief himself. So a mudslide did all this? Must have been quite a storm. We've had more and more of them over the last few years. Torrential rain, lightning strikes, winds that rattle the metal towers. But this last one was the worst yet. This area used to be as arid as the rest of the desert. The storms have changed all that. But for all this water, we still rely on the capital for our supply. Why is that? This water's poisoned by ash blood. Undrinkable as machine oil. The Inker's apprentice in Scalding Spear mentioned you exchange ash blood for water. 
It's the way of the desert, where other villages hunt for food or machine parts to trade with the capital. We collect rocks. Important rocks. The clan relies on ash blood to mark their skin. How can they record their glories without our supply? I can take another look around the village. Where did you last see? Natika. I'm here. Where's Kentok? Did he make it? We're going to find him. He saved me. Pushed me out of the way as everything collapsed. But then the flood took him. Towards the gouge. The gouge? It's an ancient passage that leads deep underground. Come. I'll show you. Natika. We need orders. We're exposed out here. Only half of us can hold a blade if machines come. What do you want us to do? Go. The gouge is in the hillside, northwest of here. I'll catch up when I can. What are we going to do now? Let's get a couple soldiers posted as lookouts to start. Understood. the gouge. Looks like an old mine. There's a lot of debris blocking the entrance. Maybe Kentuck got swept in there during the flood. I'm gonna have to clear some of it to get inside. Take it easy. You must be Kentok. Oh. I was an outlander, no my name. Natika sent me to find you. The soldier you saved told us you were swept away by the mudslide. And so he made it. Good. And Natika. She came back. Yeah. She was on her way back to talk to you when the mudslide happened. She's looking after the survivors now. <sighs> it was my mistake to deny her discharge a soldier is supposed to sacrifice for the good of the tribe looking back now she was right i didn't want to let her go the chief's guard will gain an invaluable soldier at least after all this i won't be in the way anymore i can tell you know a fatal wound when you see one my service to my clan is done. So... Leave me. No. You're not going to die down here. There has to be a way to get you out. There isn't. I tried to climb out. But it's no use. The walls are too slick. Water's coming in. From the surface? And not from where I came in. There must be another source, and if I find it, and open it up. You might not be able to move, Kentok, but I think there might be a way to move you. Hey. Hey. I need you to stay awake. I'm gonna take a look around. <laughs> You're just like Natika. Relentless as a fire claw. And you should be used to it. Just sit tight. I'm going to get you out of here.
That waterfall must be coming from somewhere. I need to get higher up to figure out where it's coming from. Water's coming from that vent. I saw down below should be coming in from somewhere around here. Gotta find its source. Water's coming in from there. I can use the fire gleam to break open that wall. And this whole place should flood. The raft can talk so should float right up to the top. said you're a stubborn fighter, so keep fighting. only to the hand that commands it. He would say that every time we sparred. Sometimes as an insult. <laughs> Other times as a compliment. But I guess he was right. It was always my choice to stay or go. I'm sorry you didn't get to make amends. So am I. What will you do now? I'm not sure. Lady Mark has a chance to recover. And once that's done... I could join the Chief's Guard, but I have to lay him to rest first. 
for the full soldier's honors. Aloy, wait. You saved my comrades, somehow drained the entire village. I want you to have this. Thanks. And good luck. Whatever you decide. 